Hello, this is Matthew Purse, and in this very short video tip and trick, we're going to go over how you can find out where your tags come from. Uh, so for instance, I have this logic, if switch number 49 is on while pot number 6 is greater than 5000, then turn on light number 34. Okay. Now, these are very cryptic tag descriptions, and I wouldn't know where uh, light number 34 is in, in my entire system. So to find that out, what I can do is I can right-click on any of my tags, say pot number 6, um, go to, and then click on device view. And that's going to take me to the device that it's on and highlight the submodule that it's at. Um, if I want to find out what channel it's on, I can click on properties and then click on IO tags. And then here is pot number six. So uh, the channel that that would be at is number two, zero, one, two. Um, I can go back in my code and I could do that with say switch number 49. Uh, again, you right click, hit go to, and then device view. And again, it takes me to a new device, uh, highlights the correct submodule, and again, I can click on my I.O. tags and see, okay, switch number 49 is here at the uh, seventh channel. Uh, now, let's say that your device has a cryptic name like mine does, I.O. device 1. Where would that be? Uh, what you can do to find that out is if you click here on accessible devices and then do a search, uh, what this will do is this will populate the list with uh, all the devices on your network. What you want to do is you want to find uh, the device name, IO device one, uh, IO device one, and uh, click flash LEDs. Now you can go look in your system and find the remote IO rack or the PLC with uh, the three flashing LEDs. And that's all I wanted to show in this video tip and trick. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the uh, comments below. Thank you for watching.